Okay, guys, so, um, here we are again, another track review, uh, this one is from, uh, Simone Simmons, or Simons, how the fuck you pronounce her, uh, surname. Anyway, you guys know I'm talking about the singer from Epica, she's going solo on this one, um, gonna release a solo album called Vermilion, naming it after the... No, not necessarily naming it after, but uh, it shares the same name as uh, as uh, a Slipknot song. Two Slipknot songs, because they have a Vermilion Part 2. But anyway, um, right now we're not talking about Slipknot, we're talking about Miss Simmons or Simons uh, from Epica. So anyway, uh, yeah, this song... Um, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. You know, it's actually good. It's enjoyable. If you like, uh, I don't know, the more progressive uh, stuff of metal, uh, then, yeah, you know, this might be up your alley. But if you're expecting it to be something like Epica, you know, with um, the heaviness, lots of drums, riffs, uh, some uh, guttural vocals, uh, well, you're in for disappointment because this song has none of that. So, uh, you know, first time I, uh, when I, uh, heard the song, it was because of a WhatsApp group that a friend was, um, yeah, a friend of mine, uh, sent a song. And so I heard a little bit of it, and I thought, eh, you know, sounds just like it. Um, sounds just like Epica, nothing special. But then I heard it, and you know, now it sounds a bit uh, different. And yes, it does kind of remind me of that band that uh, Simone has been singing for or singing with, uh, Aaron, Aaron. I don't know, think of the death metal band Aeon, but, uh, you know, after the A at Y and R. So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, you know, she has a great voice for this, um, uh, and this sounds different than Epica, but also, uh, her voice is very recognizable. And... You could um, think that it was an epic song. If you saw the video without looking at the title, you would think that you're listening to Epica. And also, uh, look, let's be honest, lots of singers uh, in symphonic metal bands, they take the whole fucking spotlight. Uh, whether it be in videos, in the interviews, posters, uh, t-shirts and all that, even the fucking booklets of uh, CDs. And yeah, this does remind me of uh, songs like uh, Soulless System or uh, Decoding Poetry where, you know, it's kind of different from uh, the Epica sound that we all love, that we all know and love. And um, so anyway, like I was saying, that they take the whole fucking spotlight. You see the video of uh, Storm the Sorrow. It's Simone um, ninety per damn throat. It's Simone ninety percent of the video, and. Like I was saying about the booklets, uh, I have the album Omega, and in the whole fucking booklet, Simone is on it. And same with uh, the band Leaves Eyes. I have the album uh, Symphonies of the Night, and in that one, Liv Christine is in all the fucking booklet. Uh, only at the end does she come out with the uh, other members of the band, her and the rest of the band. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, hey, I'll see you guys later, and as always, keep it metal.